Hi everyone, welcome back. Uh, this is Chris Stout with my 2022 BMW R9T Option 719. Uh, you may recall the Acropovic uh, fiasco that I had um, with trying to take these bits out and then finding that it was uh, the, the um, insert was welded in there. Uh, I went, I saw another YouTube video, thank you, I can't remember who uh, posted it, but uh, take a look, and he showed how um, he was able to, with a Dremel, drill them out. So I went, I don't have a Dremel, but I got a Dremel bit and was going to do that, and I just thought, you know, it still may not work, it was a lot of hassle. So actually, I have ordered a, um, a new um, works muffler system for this, actually slip-on. So it should be, knock on wood, a pretty simple installation. Uh, but I thought I would show you today uh, just basically taking this off um, and then um, kind of what that process is like. So for that, uh, I've got a 13 millimeter socket. And this is always fun and tricky to do with one hand. It goes in there. And then basically you... There is a, this is going to be a little tricky to, to show you, but um, there is a bolt right here that holds on this sleeve. And I'm going to loosen that bolt, and that should basically loosen up that sleeve. And that was a, a 13 millimeter uh, socket, and then this is, I think, a 40? Yeah, this is a uh, uh, 40 in, uh, uh, 40T, I guess it is, with um, the Torx uh, bit. So, and then that will go in here. And that basically will be um, all of um, the wrenching that you need to do. So, knock on wood, it should be a fairly simple and straightforward, famous last words with me and mufflers. So, I've already loosened this a bit. And continuing to do that one-handed and hopefully this bolt is coming off fairly well hopefully I won't jinx it so that's that and I will save that I don't know I haven't gotten the other the muffler yet so I don't know what exactly to expect but um, this is now you can sort of see uh, this is loosened so that's a good sign and then I'll just Swap out the Torx. Oops, different wrench. There we go. And So I'm going to finish taking these off, loosening them, and I'll be right back and try to figure out a way to uh, do this one-handed, showing the um, Acropovic original muffler removal. Okay, so now um, what's happened in the ensuing time is that uh, I just have taken this out with the Torx bit, and now this whole piece is loose. And I am just, you can see this has come loose now, and I'll be right back hopefully with uh, this off. So that did take two hands, uh, but good news, uh, it is off now. So this is just kind of obviously where it was, and here it is here. Uh, if anyone would like to uh, purchase a slightly used Acropovic uh, OEM muffler setup for an R9T, uh, give me a shout out. Um, here is, oh, I, oh. Someone's driving by. Um, the, what's called the flapper, uh, which I know a lot of people remove that as well. Um, it scares me to do that. I don't want to do that on a brand new bike and mess up my warranty or anything else. So um, I'm going to leave that in, at least for now. And um, uh, next up will be uh, the installation of the new piece. It's supposed to arrive in a few days, so um, stay tuned. And next shot, hopefully, will be that 
uh, very easily and nicely going on. Hi everyone and welcome back. Um, I got the pipe from Competition Works USA. Uh, before I put it on, I just want to show you this too. I also got this a couple of days ago um, as a stand for uh, over the winter time. Um, and it's just really a little bit easier to manage than the rear wheel ones that I've had for uh, past bikes, my Ducatis in particular. It's always kind of been scary for me to get them up on that. Anyway, here's what we're going to be working on today. It's also nice because the stand um, gives me more space to work around in here. Uh, you can see that I'm a good probably three, four inches uh, higher than, it's almost an optical illusion here, of the distance between the kickstand in the floor here. So I've got a little bit more working room there, which is nice. Um, the kit, I haven't totally unpacked it yet, but um, this will be what will hold the muffler on. This will be the replacement clamp. Um, very nice of them to send color, uh, hard copy um, uh, installation guide with it. Uh, that's also available as a PDF, downloadable on their site, which is always nice. And I appreciate to see like how much am I gonna get myself into here. Um, the WD-40 and microfiber is for the end. This is all a stainless steel pipe. And if you, the oils on your hands will um, become permanent on this pipe if you don't clean it off after you've done the installation. And they also, they care about their work. They, these are the guys that make it. They're not resellers. So um, big shout out to them. I had a nice conversation and email exchange with them as well too. So. I'll be opening this up in uh, just a minute. Uh, I certainly want to use both hands with that to be careful with it. And uh, we'll be right back. Okay, and we're back. So it is uh, unwrapped. I've got uh, my bits and pieces all ready. So uh, next step, again, I obviously need to use both hands, but next step will be hopefully with it appearing on here. Coming up. Okay, and we are back. Um, it is on. I'm very happy with how that looks. Um, it's just very cool. I'm glad it came so quickly. I put this towel here because I did, uh, even though I put it on, I was wearing gloves and being very super careful with things um, to not have any uh, hand oils or anything uh, be on it as residue. Because um, once this stainless steel heats up, if it's got that, it's going to be on there permanently. So, um, here it is, uh, not exactly an unveiling there, but we'll take that off. And next up will be how this sounds. You can compare this with one of my other videos with the original um, Acropovix, if you wanna uh, hear a before and after. So here we go. Cross your fingers. idle down. I don't know if you can hear me over it. We're at about 1500 RPMs. I'll give it a couple of revs. That's a nice noticeable difference without um, the original Acropovix. I think it looks good. Here's kind of a shot of it. Um, and I'm going to sit on it. I hate to rev it since uh, that style of motor of an opposed likes to twist uh, even on a stand. So I'm going to test out a little bit more and then uh, looking forward to taking it out on the road. Thanks for watching. Please check out the other videos and ride safe.